van der Waals. Professor Johann Diedrich van der Waals is the name. In addition to that, you should know that I am a very old man. Once I was young, most certainly not a scientist. But now I shall tell you the story of how I became a professor, and I trust you will find it most fascinating. I was born in 1837 into a working-class family in Leiden, a beautiful town in the Netherlands. My father was a carpenter, and I was expected to follow in my father's footsteps. But let me tell you, I did not find carpentry very appealing. No, I wanted to be a scientist. However, my family obviously did not have the money to let me go to the schools needed to study at a university. So I figured I could be a teacher's apprentice instead. I attended courses and lectures at the university and even became a headmaster. But I could not be considered a regular student, as I did not have the required skills in classical languages. Stupid Latin. But this did not stop me studying. Quite the contrary. I began working on what would become one of my greatest scientific discoveries. In physics and chemistry, we have a little something called the ideal gas law. This equation shows the relationship between pressure, volume and temperature. But it does not always work. One man in particular wanted to figure out why. After years of studying and working, I finally came up with a solution to the mystery. The scientific community at the time mostly denied the concept of atoms and molecules. But I understood that matter is composed of tiny particles, and that these particles take up actual physical space, and there are forces interacting between them. Having taken this into consideration, I proposed a correction to the equation, and of course I was right. In the end, a change in the Dutch law allowed me to attend the university. Finally, I earned a doctorate. In fact, I became the first physics professor at the University of Amsterdam. Meanwhile, I married Anna Magdalena Smit, with whom I had three daughters and one son. My son became a physics professor too, and my grandson, well, who knows what will become of him?